Hey everybody, hope you're doing good today. Um, I've been doing some work around the house today, uh, putting in new flooring and um, changing out some baseboards. Uh, the floor and the baseboards I don't think have been changed since this house was built. And uh, pretty much everything that's been done to this house has been done by me. Um, the knife I'm using today is uh, my Benchmade 710. Uh, you can see it's a little bit dirty, but uh, really none worse for wear. Um, why did I use this knife to actually do work around my house? It has a lot to do with blade steel. Um, this knife is D2 blade steel, and I think it's heat treated right around 60 uh, HRC. Um, I really love D2 blade steel, and I really actually love this knife in general. Um, you get a lot of blade length for the actual size of the overall handle. Uh, it's a really good handle to blade ratio. And uh, the Benchmade access lock is uh, one of the best, one of the strongest. Uh, not that I'm really too concerned about lock strength. Um, just the reason I'm doing this video is I was breaking down some boxes to uh, the actual flooring I got. And I cut into the box and my blade stopped. And looking at the box, I actually cut into a staple. And upon examining the edge, um, there was no marks on this. There was no divots, no nothing. So uh, just seeing sort of the overall toughness and demonstrating why I like D2 so much. You can see here the blade slices foam book paper. It's not at a shaving sharp level right now, uh, which means to me that it'll take hair off your arm or your face quite comfortably and readily. Actually, it is taking hair off, but I wouldn't call this shaving sharp. Uh, I wouldn't definitely want to use this on my face. You'd get some <laughs> pretty nasty razor burn. But um, just demonstrating now, uh, this is just your standard penny. And why I like this steel so much. So that's some pretty devastating uh, blows from a hammer onto the spine of this knife and into this penny. It hasn't cut it, but that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, just going over the edge, still doesn't feel like it did anything. I mean, E2 is some pretty tough stuff. It's pretty resilient stuff. And you can see this is not affected at all. <laughs> um, really awesome blade steel. It's even still push cutting after that. And you would expect something of running into, uh, even if it is just copper. And well, and you can see here, if I could get the light right, and my camera to focus, I call that the double whammy. No, there we go. <laughs> You can see here that I am actually making a mark in that, and I actually have bent the penny, but like you've seen, um, it hasn't caused any damage to the edge of this knife. So that's one of the real reasons that I love D2 steel. It does keep a really good edge for a really long time. Um, I'm not one to sort of worry over a uh, razor sharp edge. When I do sharpen my knives, they're always sharp enough to take the hair off your arm or your face pretty pretty comfortably. Um, but I'm never sort of in search of that razor edge. So I, I tend to like knives that have a good working edge, which usually means to me that it has a toothy enough edge to cut through most material. Um, this is just some leather here that I got uh, spare of. I bought a bunch of leather just to try my hand at a couple sheaths and uh, this is uh, some pretty thick stuff when it comes to leather and it's actually quite hard uh, not really supple at all and you could put some serious cuts into this uh, without having too much worry of um, damage or rolling or chipping um, which is sort of counterintuitive to a lot of what I heard when looking at uh, this knife, you hear a lot about, oh, D2's chippy, it chips out easily. Well, I don't think that's true at all uh, if it's done right. And I just showed you here, 
you could just see the mark in the wood from me hammering on this um, that that's really true at all another misconception about this steel is that it rusts um, I've used this for food prep because it's a nice long blade a uh, nice relatively thin edge or actually thin blade stock and it does have a thin edge and uh, haven't had any staining let me just clean this off and show you guys haven't had any staining on this no rust issues and I've cut tomatoes like six seven tomatoes in a row just leaving this sort of off on the edge uh, until I get around to wiping it down no rust issues no spotting so I mean D2 is a, is a hell of a steal in my opinion and I uh, just really wanted to do this quick video uh, because there's not a lot of videos out there there is a few but there's not a lot of videos out there that actually give D2 steel the credit it's worth I know a lot of people actually do really like this steel and uh, they're the rightly informed ones in that um, they haven't sort of listened to the hype around uh, that D2 is rust pr proof or rust prone uh, it's just shy of a rust resisted knife and it's just sort of shy of a stainless steel is what I'm trying to get at um, it has enough chromium in it to keep it uh, from staining up like um, 1095 would I mean if you cut up some tomatoes and left it for half an hour I imagine you'd get some spotting on this sort of blade here and that's why they coat it um, so just sort of a quick video uh, explaining my like for D2 and why I actually do like it um, you see me hammer into that penny uh, didn't cut it in half no but any other sort of seal um, S30V and you guys know how much I like S30V so don't get on me for that um, but S30V 12C 27 even uh, 1095 if I was to do that you would see some rolling some flattening of the edge but D2 is a really resilient steel and that's one of the reasons why it's one of my favorites top three I'd say so uh, thanks for watching this quick video guys and uh, stay tuned for more